First of all, don't shit where you eat. Mm -hmm. uh, like this. <laughs> I'll have a great story for you about 20 years when things <laughs> blow over. Uh, but for right now, it's not, it's not ready. It's still in the cooker. Um, but the one I thought of was I was in drama school, and uh, I got this. Uh, we were doing this play called Lighty Breeze by John Gore, and uh, in the play, I play this character who was like, he was given raped by his stepmom and given syphilis, and he broke his tooth out, and then he was playing Frankenstein on stage. I mean, it's this crazy play by an amazing playwright, but it's the weirdest play and the weirdest character ever. So I'm like, okay, so I go home and get my gumbo pot, and I'm, you're my jambalaya pot, and I'm, and I'm, like, and I'm like, all right, Frankenstein, he's like an animated corpse, so I probably have a bald head, so I shave my head bald. Oh nice. And uh, I'm like, oh, he's got this chipped tooth, he's always talking about laugh fake front teeth from a baseball bat incident when I was a kid, so I got a big loaf of French bread, and popped one of them out, and, uh, oh my God. and then got some super poly grip and stuck the tooth in, and then wore a ski cap on and didn't show anybody what I did. <laughs> And so we're going in to do our scene presentations the next morning. <laughs> and I've got the hat on, full low, and the tooth glued in. And uh, I have this big monologue. And uh, this girl came out, and she's on stage, and then she, you know, she has this monologue, and then I, I come out and review myself. So I'm back behind the risers and back in the theater. I pull the hat off, pull the tooth out, you know, and then she does her thing. and. And I come out, and she looks up and sees me for the first time, and it's not me, obviously. And the look on her face was, was pure terror and evil. And, and I come over, and we had this choreographed move where I, you know, I have to put my hands around her throat, and I put them around, and her hands are on the inside, so she can't. I can't. I'm not even touching her neck. She's holding my hand, and I'm doing this and going, you know, or whatever, and. She starts yelling, Joe, stop, Joe, Joe, you're hurting me, Joe, stop. And I'm like, uh, what? And, and everybody jumps out of their chairs and starts grabbing me off of her. And I'm like, I didn't do anything. And I wasn't joking her. You know? You know? stayed in cabin the whole way. I knew the whole time. And so at the end of the year, uh, the, the school almost threw me out. Carnegie Mellon almost threw me out. They're yeah. like, you know, this teacher I didn't even know was like, do you need psychiatric help? I'm like, I, just, I didn't do anything. She's like, and the teachers were all, you know, we have these conferences at the end of the year where they where they tell you you're thrown out or not. And they say, just grow your hair back, put your teeth back in. It's good. This is the whole thing going, mister. You're like, yeah. You can't scare people like that. I was like, man, what the hell just that, you know? So the summer rolls around, we come back to school, I'm invited back, you know, so we go to start the sophomore year, and I'm walking down the hall, and, and there's no one in the hall, and who comes walking down the hall? Yeah. This girl. Oh. And I see her, and we walk, and I stop, and I stare at her, and she looks down at the girl and goes, I forgot my line. <gasps> oh, oh. <I'm> scared. Oh. <laughs> wow. But I should probably wow. tell people before I go do crazy shit like that. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be, you know, that's crazy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Let's bring it out to the audience. Any questions out there? Come talk to us. So we were talking about collaborating with uh, directors on TV. What about writers? It seems like it's a writer's medium, especially when you're talking about multiple seasons and developing characters. Yeah. It's hard. I mean, in, in The Wire, we did, we weren't even allowed to collab. Really? I mean, David Simon and Burma, they were in the corners.